Hi, everyone, and welcome into the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm Fran Charles. This show is all about you guys, the fans. We've got a great day for you. You get an opportunity to ask a Phillies utility player and a great youngster to watch, Scott Kingery, whatever questions that you want. But you got to do me a favor here. There are two ways to ask a question. So you can click on the green button below and sign up or sign in for your chance to ask that question live. Or you can tweet at us using the hashtag Chatting Cage to get your questions in. So, uh, without further ado, let's do it, and let's say hello to uh, Scott Kingery, uh, the Phillies' uh, all-purpose, all-utility man right now. And, Scott, congratulations, man, on, on all your success. How surreal was it for you to go from being one of the Phillies' you know, top prospects to all of a sudden getting a, a, a contract and knowing that you were going to be secure and taken care of and then have an opportunity to showcase your stuff? I mean, uh, you know, that whole weekend – Everything that went along with it, um, you know, towards the end of spring training was was a whirlwind, and it was pretty crazy, and uh, and really, it was surreal. Just um, you know, to have the Phillies, you know, have faith like that in me and confidence uh, for me to be able to perform uh, up here at this level, it's you know, it's special, and um, you know, it gives me a chance to come up here and and start with the team and, and help them win. All right, fans are itching to get at it, so we're going to start with the Twitter and the Edward Jones chatting cage, and let's start with Britt here on Twitter. Britt wants to know, how'd you get the nickname Scotty Jetpacks? Oh, I get that one a lot. Um, <laughs> freshman year of college, there's a, a play where, you know, I was on first base, single hit. I went first to third, and then ball came back in the first baseman's hand and, and the guy who hit the ball was in a, a rundown between first and second I broke for for home play and slid in head first and got back in the dugout one of my one of my teammates said oh it looks like you really turned the jetpacks on out there so you know after that it kind of stuck and, and, and just a little bit more on that for for young kids at home to know who are baseball players who want to play in college and maybe end up being like Scott Kingery you didn't get recruited you didn't get recruited division one II, division two II, division three what was that like for you, and how were you able to, to, to fight through it and get to where you are now? Um, yeah, uh, coming out of high school, you know, I, only offers I had were to junior colleges, and I thought my numbers and, and abilities were, you know, that of a D1 player. And, um, you know, I wanted to give myself a chance to to play with, uh, you know, the top guys in the country. and and go and take a chance to walk on at University of Arizona. So for me, um, you know, I had the confidence in myself, and, and I thought my abilities were, were ready for that level of play. So, you know, I, I took a chance, and uh, it all worked out for me. Yeah, it wasn't uh, too long before you became the Pac-12 Conference Player of the Year. We've got a fan who wants to get at you. Forget about me asking the questions. Go ahead. Hey, my name's Anthony, and I was wondering which pitcher you look forward to face most. Okay, um, you know I you know, I watch Kershaw dominate you know almost every time he goes out on the mound and you know I've been I've been watching for a long time and I think it's gonna be pretty cool stepping in the box to to face him so I'm pretty I'm looking forward to that a lot. Yeah, you went right to the tippy top there, Scott, with, uh, with Clayton <laughs> Kershaw. All right, uh, Kevin on Twitter he wants to know what's it like playing alongside Hoskins, Crawford, Alfaro, first at AAA and now in the show. Yeah, this team is uh, very young and very talented, and, and, you know, it's awesome to be able to have played with them coming up through the minors, um, you know, just to build some chemistry and, and bring that kind of winning culture that we had in the minors up, up to uh, to Philly. So, you know, to be able to play with, with guys that are talented like that, it's, uh, it's awesome stepping on the field with them every day. All right, time now, Scott, for the EDJ question of the day. What's been the best piece of advice you've gotten so far? Um, you know, it was it was right after, you know, I found out I was going to be coming up with, uh, you know, the team to start the season. And uh, the only thing was, you know, they said it's still baseball, um, you know, bigger stadiums, more fans. Um, but, you know, it's still baseball, it's still the same game. And, you know, it gave me a, a chance to kind of sit back and and realize, yeah, you know what? It's that's right. It's, you know, still still same game, still play the same way. Um, so, you know, that, that kind of took some nerves away from me for a little bit. I love that piece of advice. So you're watching the Edward Jones chatting cage. We've got a uh, Phillies infielder and outfielder, uh, Scott Kingery with us. We've got another fan who wants to jump in with a question, Scott. Hey, Scott, this is Dan. Where's the best place to get a cheesesteak <laughs> in Philly? <laughs> uh, 
Um, you know, I haven't been to too many places. Uh, you know, I've only been up here for a short time, but I heard uh, I heard Geno's is is pretty good, so I'm I'm gonna have to try that out pretty soon. Yeah, you haven't been there long enough. You know, give it some time though. I'm sure you'll you'll have those spots uh, locked down. We're going to Twitter uh, for another Edward Jones uh, chatting quick cage question here, and uh, this is a good one here uh, of our. At Strandy French wants to know, I'm curious, out of all the positions you man for the Phillies, what's your favorite to play? Um, I like third base a lot. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of reaction over there. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't, have, you don't have time to set your feet or, or, you know, really move around. It's more reaction, just trying to catch the ball any way you can. And uh, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but, you know, I, I have fun at all the positions, and they're all challenging. And, um you know, it's good to kind of learn in all those positions in game action. Fans are fired up. Scott, they heard you were with us, so they keep uh, making sure that they dial in. we got another fan question for you live. Go ahead. Good afternoon, sir, and good afternoon to you too. Scott, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good, my man. I just want to take this time out, and I just want to ask you a simple question. When you got the phone call, because, my man, you're living the dream. When you got the phone call, what was the feeling like to know that you got promoted to the major leagues? I mean, you know, that's something as a kid you dream about. So, for me, you know, it was a, it was a special moment. And, you know, I don't think it hit me for a couple of days, uh, you know, after I was told. You know, I think the first time it actually hit me was standing on the field opening day in Atlanta and, uh, you know, the planes were flying over, and, you know, I was standing on a big league field, so I think it was uh, that was the first time it actually hit me. All right, we're going back to uh, a Twitter here on the Edward Jones chatting cage. A Fly Eagles Fly 6 wants to know, and this is a good one because your manager has been under a heavy scrutiny early. What's it like playing for Gabe Kapler? Uh, it's awesome. Um, it's, you know, I think the way the game's going with uh, the, the analytical side um, – you know, I think it's new to some of us, and uh, I think it's a new, to, new to a lot of people. But um, you know, over the course of a season, I think the way that uh, you know it's set up is it's it's going to be really successful over the course the whole the whole season. So um, you know, it's new to us, but you know, we love we love having Cap as our manager, and um, you know, we're uh, we're all fired up to get on the field and, and get wins for him. How did you guys rally around him after all the early season drama? Obviously, you're playing much better baseball right now, but he took a lot of incoming early on in the season. Um, yeah, you know, um, it was a small sample size in the beginning, which is, um, you know, which is tough. And, you know, as we've gone on and the season's progressed just a little bit, uh, we've started to see that, you know, these positionings that we've we've had and, um, you know, matchups, they've started to work. So, um, the small sample size, it, it looked a little bit rough in the beginning, but now, um, you know, we're starting to get out with, with the positioning we have, and we're starting to uh, make big-time plays, so it's awesome. No doubt. You guys are playing better. Another fan for you, Scott. Go ahead, hey, sir. TJ uh, from Philly, big Phillies fan. Uh, you're, like, quickly developing the reputation of being, like, a scrappy middle infielder sort of guy with a lot of versatility. How's that feel to be in the same sentences as Chase Utley? Uh, you know, anytime you're putting the same sentence as him, it's, it's an honor. Um, and you know, if I could, you know, be half the player that he was, I think I'll be set, but you know, I just, I can look up to him and, uh, and the way that he plays the game, he goes hard and, um, you know, he, he just knows how to win. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a good guy to, to look up to. All right. We only got a couple more minutes with Scott here. So click on that green button or, you know, sign in here and ask a question live. We've gotten a lot of uh, fans get in live. We're going to go back to Twitter here on the Edward Jones uh, chatting cage. And uh, Ray wants to know, what was it like growing up with an identical twin? What was it like growing up with Sam here? And uh, did you guys ever try and, try and trade identities or change places and, and no one know? Yeah, um, it was awesome growing up with a twin. You, you always had someone uh, to hang with, you know, if you wanted to play catch, you know, or go hit some balls or something. You, you always had someone there that was willing to do it. So, that was awesome, and, and we did a few times actually switch classes back in middle school. <laughs> got, away, got away with it, uh, I think, until like the last hour of the day, so it was, uh, it was pretty fun. That's awesome. That's great. All right, we're going to switch over to Facebook now, and uh, Garrett wants to know, who's the most stylish Philly? Who's the most stylish guy in the clubhouse? Ooh. Okay. Um, 
Arietta's got got um you know good style, very good style, and uh, Altera. I've seen I've seen a few suits on Altera that you know that uh, I think only he can pull off. So that's you know those are a couple <laughs> guys that have some really good style. Yeah, Arietta's got that jack to pay for that style too, uh, no <laughs> doubt. Uh, one, one more on Twitter here, then we'll let you go. Uh, at Philly Sports Seventeen wants to know what was it like playing in the the Little League World Series as a kid. Oh man, that's um. You know, that's the biggest stage you can be on as a 12-year-old. And you're playing on ESPN in front of, you know, 20,000-plus fans. And, um, you know, obviously that's the biggest biggest crowd you'll play in front of at 12 years old. And it was just an amazing time. Um, you know, it's it, it gave me some memories that, that I'll remember forever. Scott, you're the man. Uh, thank you a lot for spending a lot of time with us. So we appreciate it. You know, We know you got work to do. But congratulations. You're off to a, a fantastic start. Thanks for joining us, and best of luck moving forward. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. All right, that is the Scott the Kingery of the Philadelphia Phillies. This guy's off to a great start, no doubt. You can see him play third base, second base, left field, right field, guys all over the place, and he's doing a great job in Philadelphia. Thanks for watching the Edward Jones Chatting Cage. I'm Fran Charles. Make sure you continue to check us out online at MLB.com for other great players around the majors.